Hello everybody, welcome back to Evolve, we've been playing as the Elder Kraken in this one. I have to forgive the voice, I am a little bit ill at the moment. Um, but you know, we're keeping the daily train going, so... Uh, we'll do Stamina. It is Kyrie, Tatkank, Maggi, uh, Wasteland Maggi, no less, and Markov, as you can see. Um, probably the worst assault in the game to go against Kraken, although he's slightly better against Elder Kraken. Because Elder Kraken uh, spends a lot of time on the ground, so... See, they do have the worst support in the game, though, in a bot's hand. Let's see, Kyra is very high sustain, and Wasteland Maggie is just a better version of Maggie, though. So, yes, my voice is slightly adjusted because you know I am currently sick. But this one it is. Try and pick some of these up. You get two of them. No, we're not going to get that one out. Shit, that's a wall. Over this way. That is move speed. We're probably going to need, yeah. Quite nice to get right at the beginning. Need to remember this isn't regular crack and I can't um, attack from range. There we go. Refuse to believe that that didn't hit both of them, but okay. Excuse the doggos if you can hear them in the back. Not them doggos, the IRL doggos. But as usual, we are going to be getting out of stage one as quickly as possible. Stage one is the danger zone. Uh, right. I guess not then. Uh, Boned at stage one of this monster is similar to Gorg and it's fucking horrible. Because he's, uh, he's pretty damn weak at stage one. Birds is rather unfortunate, but that does take us to stage two. So I'm alright now. Let's get out of that corner. Birds ignore us is not uh, something I'm going to take over move speed, honestly. Don't really need it against bots anyway, because bots kind of just know where you are. So, okay. We'll get ourselves to stage two. We'll grab Train Lightning, even though it's the worst ability in the game. <laughs> Grab ourselves these, we'll rearmor and then we'll get him for the uh, first engage. In this one. Shit. I'll do this. Very beautiful monster is Elder Kraken. Said that a lot whenever I play as him. Uh, they've got the Mega Mouth buff, but I don't actually know what that is for Hunters, so... Gonna stack everything on Maggie. We'll use this, even though it doesn't really do anything. There you go. I don't know what my Banshee missile hit there, but it wasn't Maggie, which was the intended target. Even though I fired it directly into her face. Good. Lost all the armor. Just gonna dip. Can use that through terrain. Just a bit of a gamble. Whew. 
probably not the best of times actually thinking about it. I was trying to get in there while we was uh, distracted by the Mega Mouth there. We have sort of isolated Maggie there. Right, we do get that. Uh, hmm. Uh, healed it straight away. Yeah, she's back up again. It scammed by Markov again. Well, not the greatest idea to do this, but it's fine. We're facing another dome, so I am gonna not fight there. It's the most awkward fucking strider I've ever seen. Okay. Do you have the evolved ready? Quite big. If I can get a kill as quickly as possible, we can go for somebody else here. We are going to go for somebody else. We'll go for. Uh, I think Kyra. I was going to go for Hank, but. Watch some of uh, the missile though. doesn't really need to prioritise Tech Hank because his beam doesn't do anything because the bot doesn't use it properly. There we go. We are going to get out now though. We will grab stage 3. Get a bit of distance over here. Uh, I will take that just before we evolve. Marvel region. That's incredibly awkward. There you go. I saw a bunch of elf bars there and just shot myself. It's the trap jaws. I thought it was actually the hunters right there as I was locking myself into this. Fucking beautiful boy, stage 3. Probably the monster that has the most detail uh, put into it in the entire game. More effort and attention to detail has been put into this monster than most of the AAA titles today. Just to throw that in there, because we always have to. There, this was uh, 2015, by the way, as well, when this game came out. I just, I, I find it quite funny that this game literally shows the fucking industry up, quite honestly, and how fucking shit things have become. When you've got something lo that looks like this coming from 2015, and we can barely achieve this shit in this day and age. It's like we've regressed. I was going to use Dead by Daylight as an example, but I don't mean it in, I don't mean this as a shade towards Dead by Daylight when I say this, but... I'm using it as like a comparison because it's another ASIM. Um, if you look at how bad the animations and everything are for the killers in Dead by Daylight and how, you know, lacking in detail the game is, you know, and it's the game that took off and it's now, you know, it's live to this day, that kind of thing. It's fucking, it's just weird to me. It's really weird. Well, this is it's what depresses me the most because people it's normalized now that's like the standard you know when this literally like exceeds those standards 10 times over but it's dead you know we fucking chose wrong fellas as far as I'm concerned in this genre I don't mindlessly hate dead by daylight as a, you know, just because it's like, oh, it's another ASIM, you know, how dare they take my ASIM and 
you know, there's this kind of, you know, and then it's that, that kind of thing. I know what I'm saying, I'm just trying to concentrate at the same time. Like, I don't just, I don't mindlessly hate Dead by Daylight for the sake of it, is what I'm saying. Just want to tell them minds out. Um, I hate it because of how fucking low quality it is compared to this. I do hold it as one of the reasons, or one of the possible reasons, as to why they won't revive this game is because it would take too much fucking effort in today's modern gaming, you know, climate to add new content to it because you'd actually have to put effort into the shit you were making, you know. Or to follow that up as well, we don't seem to have realised in this industry that if we do actually put effort in and we do actually work for good content and we do make very high quality things people will actually spend more fucking money on it in the long run because it's a good experience you know but the quote unquote meta of game design these days is just create the shittiest two dimensional shite imaginable which dies and fizzles out quickly and then scratch our heads and wonder why you know But at least the money on release was good, yeah? Not the millions more you could have made if the game actually had a fucking lifespan. <laughs> right, I'll show up about it now anyway. It's fine. I'm actually fucking throwing at this point because I'm ranting about my favourite portion of this industry. And now it's been desecrated. But it's fine, don't worry. Um, I need to actually go for Maggie here, but I want to get you dead so you can't actually heal anybody. Where the fuck is Maggie? There. I need my fucking... there you go. Ach, uh, we might be able to do this actually, right here. It's getting her up, can I please eat this? I'm still attached, what the fuck? For 38 seconds. We can potentially do this, I don't know if he's used his shield though. Ah shit. Uh, right, hang on. Let's get you down. I think we can still do this, 26 seconds, just get her down. Because his shield's not going to last. Yeah. 19 seconds. We can actually still do this. There you go. Bit of an industry rant on that one. But, you know, it is what it is. My mind just wanders when I'm... When I'm playing a masterpiece that's dead. Because, you know, the stupid people ruined this fucking industry. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Massive death spiral damage. I do use it as my main ability on this monster because I just think the massive area denial is really useful. There you go, it's another cracking video anyway. Hope you enjoyed, and I will hopefully see you for the next one. Bye.